Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 11 of my Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead tutorial series. I'm Icon and today we're going to talk about advanced base management. So I'm going to talk about how to set up the, that zoning thing, how to automate things in your base a little bit more thoroughly because I only set up a little bit of a fireplace that one episode. So we're going to work through these things in this episode. And after this one, you should be able to drop all your stuff on one pile, press one button, and everything gets sorted somewhere where you want to have it. So let's get started. First off, before we can actually start, a little bit of a story what happened between this and the last episode. You know, you remember back here, I did the last uh, episode, and I did a little bit of a traveling time here because I didn't like this place anymore. You know, this is such a huge town and here just a random piece of advice. Huge areas like these are really tough. You, you need to be well equipped. You need good armor, especially the armor part is where I'm lacking right now, to really clear these without risking to die at many points. So. That's why I went off. And then we took a very, very, very long odyssey. This radio tower is infested with wasps. And then I was driving here and there and everywhere. And then we find, I finally found Madawaska. And in this little town, there's our base that we're going to be using for the remainder of the tutorial series until I die eventually. But this electronic store here has a wonderful basement level of, a, well, everything you could ask for, basically. And to top things off, you see that upstairs over there probably already. You can go upstairs here and there's this majestic apartment where we're going to set up our base of operations. This, this is as good as it can get. Seriously, this is uh, among the best uh, area, the best things you can wish for to set up a base camp, in my humble opinion at least. The only thing that's really lacking here is you don't have any spe uh, special tools or, or special assets here. Some places like, uh, ah, here. That light industry here, for example, is an interesting spot for a base camp because you will have industrial tools there so smithing and forging stuff is going to be a lot easier in these areas probably also a good spot to do your vehicle works so today though we're far far away from these things today we're only going to talk about how to set up your own base camp at home so my definition of setting this up will be quite simple i'm going to use the downstairs area as little as possible because that's practically the risky area and we're going to live 90% of our time here upstairs. This is going to be possible mainly because of the fact that we got this really nice terrace up here which allows us to even do all of our cooking upstairs which is brilliant in my opinion. We, we really, I really think that this house is pretty much of a jackpot. So we're going to do cooking here and all the other stuff will be stored inside that house accordingly. So we're going to do most of our business over here. This is going to be our, our main base of operations, therefore. So I'm going to start now. And the first thing that we're going to set up is an area where we're going to just drop off things. The uh, unsorted area, if you want to say so. I think... This area here where I'm running around right now is a good spot. So here we're going to just drop off whatever we don't want to have. So for now, let's just really drop everything we don't really need immediately again. I'm dropping away all those pistols, but not the Beretta, because that's the one I have always on me. The other items can go. I'm keeping the bullets for the Beretta. All the other bullets can go too. Over here in the tools section, let's see, well, that pair of scissors is not something I need on me all the time. Drugs, well, we ain't really that well stacked, but, you know, antibiotics, usually you only take these when you really suffer. We don't really need that meth on us all the time, don't we? 
and altogether sleeping pills well i really like to have a certain amount of these items on me but not all of them so let's see copper wire medical tape racks threads small cardboard boxes and all these things can go over here so this is a, a a big pile of loot here so now we press capital y i'm showing here um where, where is it it's, it's uh, here manage zones capital y and over here we we uh, summon up that menu to move the camera for this one here because we're going to work a lot on this half of the screen so the first thing we're going to do is press a to add a zone and the first zone I want to add in is the loot unsorted zone. So the description says it all place to drop unsorted loot. So this is the zone that we're going to set up to drop our stuff off. So select first point and let's uh, go this way. And you see now you can drag and drop basically that uh, rectangle as you want to. Press enter to um, say okay to that. Okay, so now we got all these things. Now we're going to add in a lot of other zones. So the first thing that I want to add in is because I see it is ammo. So press enter, select it, and I'll say I want my ammo on that table. There we go. Press twice enter to select only one dot, and let's go further. So let's say I want my books. My books should be going all into that shelf here. Bam then let's go further chemicals so chemicals well let's put them over here into this spot here and i think you get the idea already how things are starting to work out here so armor let's put armor over there clothing well i'll put clothing and armor into the same spot because you can designate the same spot for several um topics containers containers is one i love to have to let's put them into the corner there this is by far one of my favorite parts in terms of uh, setting up bases corpses well corpses we don't need that right now currency yeah why not currency is fun to have too let's put the currency well i don't want to have it on the table with the with the ammo because i want to have my guns over there as well well, whatever. Let's put the let's put the currency over there. Currency is rather mediocrely important. You can't use currency for all manner of things, but not that much. So uh, everywhere, I mean. So drugs. Let's uh, put the drugs over here. All the medical stuff, and here filthy armor and filthy clothing. I put these things uh, somewhere else. Let's put these outside armor let's use clothing and here goes food so food is something i want to talk a little bit more uh, specifically about so here the food zone is the most uh, generic one if more specific food zone is not defined all food is moved here it says so we're going to use this one and drop it down over here let's say i'll put my food down there why not let's use two tiles and we're going to put up or drink as well there there we go not always not sure if food and drink go into the same category that's why i put down both but i think food would include automatically drinks as well so fuel well because it's a little bit uh, unlikely to have fuel in uh, plenty but i really had like to have a uh, spot there guns like I said, guns should go to the ammo. And it's up to you to uh, put up your own type of order. Gun magazines. Magazines are nothing to read. That's uh, actually ammo. So uh, manuals are also like... Let's put these over here. It's up to you to put up your own system, your own method. But I think you're certainly uh, getting the idea already how all of this is uh, going to work. So gun modif modifications, let's put these onto the gun spot as well. Mutagens, well, that's pretty uh, pretty high-end stuff. We don't really need that this much, but other is one really important category, as well as uh, spare parts. 
because spare parts are also used a lot for crafting. Oh, wait a sec, I, I messed up with the other. Other is uh, clipping with the unsorted zone, you see that. So we're going to go over the this zone here, and now we're going to press enter to edit, and I edit the position now. So other just goes onto this spot here, and now let's add in the spare parts. This is a lot of the crafting stuff. So we're almost done, I promise. So what we're now lacking is the uh, vehicle parts. I'm not going to be using that. Melee weapons, I'll put, be putting these uh, onto one of these uh, chairs. And uh, firewood. Firewood is a very, very important one. So let's uh, put this uh, down here because we're going to be cooking a lot here. And now... I'll be putting up auto drink and auto eat here as well. So auto drink goes over the zone where I have my food and auto eat also goes over the zone where I have my food. So these here will make it so that you will be automatic you'll you'll be automatically using your resources while you're doing lengthy processes. That's really really cool when you're starting to craft really um really advanced things. You have crafting times of 16 hours and more, and it's it's really getting annoying when you just have to eat and drink every time. It's really not that uh, not that entertaining. Okay, so uh, you can also automate disassembly work with that spot, but we're not going to use this uh, today here because you know I want to uh, put these things like automated crafting and uh, construction construction and all these things i want to put these into a specific video forgive me if that's of interest for you but you'll have to wait for that a little bit longer so now source firewood we're going to use uh, this one and i'm going to put this one over exactly a spot where i'll also put the wood loot and that's it we are now set up save changes press escape and then save changes and all you need to do is step into the unsorted zone and press capital o and then you get the uh zone actions and auto chop logs and wood loot zones into planks let's see you know you're even auto fetches tools but that's not what we're looking for we're going to sort out our loot and now press enter and all the items that were here are now um, put up, put uh, are now put somewhere. The next thing you have to do, I always have to do this as well because I always forget something, is check out what's been left over. So here, the pair of scissors. I press G to get, and I press E to examine here. So now you see. There's a category uh, tag here, category tools. That means I have uh, successfully forgotten the tool category as well. Again, that's, uh, that's not a problem. We we'll just go into capital Y again and just add in that tool section there. So we're going to put the tools maybe onto the floor here. I don't care about that. So whenever something is not sorted out, and this is an indicator for you that you have to put up a new zone and that's that's how you do it this way you got a lot of uh, freedom to to actually loot your stuff now all you need to do now is to uh, soak up items and just toss them there and let the let the algorithms do the magic for you i'm going to show you now how how to do this of course because you know everything else would be boring because now we have done the the that work that's not that much fun so now let's let's have a drink i'm thirsty dark cola yum probably not the healthiest drink so it would be boring to loot our own place so i have a backpack on me and um madawaska is a wonderful place it's a really tiny little uh settlement this is basically the best town to raid early on and therefore taking down the zeds here was not too much of a problem there's a couple of them left here oh alarm <laughs> yeah so we're now going to go loot an extraordinaire so we're now going to use today a lot of the advanced inventory management because when i want when i'm going for big holds i'm 
not working selectively anymore. So advanced inventory management slash here brings you up to this wonderful little menu here. The right tab here is my own inventory right now. You, you see that green uh, thing here is telling it to you. You also can switch a little bit between other selections here, but we're only going to use this one here. So if I use the arrow keys now, I can switch between these two. The left one is the surrounding area, and you he see here where the items are stored. North, northeast, northwest. These tags are designating on which tile from your own perspective these items are lying at. So there's these books, a deck of sorcery cards, whatever. Now you just go press enter. Boom, boom. There. You just looted it all. <laughs> And uh, now you can just press slash, and uh, you just uh, you just pack up everything that you can get. You don't care about what you're getting. I mean, it's up to you how selective you work. If you really want to speed loot these places, you can go for it like that. So no space for the large fire extinguisher tragedy. So over here, well, let's maybe be a little bit more selective. Not the bath toy, but the, the rest here, whatever. So you also see here the amount, the weight, and the volume. So, I mean, be a little bit more selective than I'm here right now. You can really go for a little bit more of a smarter selection here. But I just want to show you the, um, the power of the auto sword tool there. And also problems that will arise when you, when you go silly like me here. But... The advanced loot menu, nevertheless, is really cool to um, to manage larger loot amounts. So here, for example, I'm not going to pick up the poor fits, although you could, because you might be not able to wear them, but you can disassemble them to uh, to gather new materials from that. But that's a, a thing for another day. A duffel bag, wonderful. I found that. I wear that capital W to put it on. So the duffel bag will allow me to carry lots and lots of stuff. But the problem here is uh, the torso encumbrance is from hell. So the moment I spot a Z, I need to drop those containers because otherwise I'm worm food. It's really something you have to be wary of because you can easily underestimate how vulnerable you are actually. So loot with care. Loot with care. Don't be silly with that. So we're now at the kitchen, so I'm now picking up lots of foodstuffs too, because that's where the real fun's at. And that's also one of the things you really um, can loot in larger amounts as soon as you have set up your base camp. I really love to go um, wild with looting as soon as I have set up my base camp, because so that's just a sweet spot where you can just uh, pick up everything, let the uh, algorithm do the sorting for you, and uh, then at home check out what, what you're up to do and with that. So here, for example, I'm even looting ceramic plates, forks, and such things. Why not the gallon jugs of bleach and ammonia, too? There is a usage for many, many things, and there is a specific reason why I go that crazy looting everything. Usually I don't. This is more of a uh, so for more for the tutorial reasons here. So here is a large area for storage, but we actually seem to be burdened. Even okay, I'm I'm way over my uh, storage capacity. So let's get over. Let's get out of here. Get upstairs. Press capital D. Select tile, and now let's just empty your uh, your stockpile. This is a little bit annoying. I haven't found a feature yet to make this easier. So if you are out there knowing more about this game than me, knowing how to do this less tedious than I do here, drop a comment and everybody here will be grateful for that. I always try to uh, aim for the containers first. So everything here, the plastic bags and all. And uh, I, I'll come back for the loose stuff uh, in a sec. 
So we're now dropping all these items now too. Antiseptics, we don't need that many. This is a little bit of a tedium, but uh, it's a necessary evil. And I'll drop all those books and all these other items. So there we go. All the crap. Chemical stuff. There we go. Boom. And all the clothing too. So if you would be now sorting this manually, you'd be going crazy. Capital O, sort out my loot. And here you go. It's done. And now this is the way how you can sort out everything. So we now have our food stuff over here. All the food we have looted a moment ago is now over here. And the best part about this is um, you can now go for your crafting menu. I hope you know the button already. And then you can craft now with all the items that are in the environment. So all that stuff we have just uh, put into our position this is now available for crafting. This is, by the way, the reason why I uh, go crazy with, uh, with the crafting like that. But keep one thing in mind. It is a little bit finicky in terms of uh, finding stuff. So, for example, I was just looking for lockpicks. You notice that I didn't find anything just a moment ago, and now I do. So, the problem there is crafting stuff. If I now search for a lockpick crafting, it's not there anymore. So that's the reason because I'm too far away from these items, and I haven't discovered yet what the what the real distance uh, is for this uh, crafting detection. This is a little bit annoying, as you see here. Now I can't craft any food stuff anymore, and therefore it's up to you to um, put all these items either thematically together that it's um, like here I put the food stuffs in the vicinity of the fire stuff so you know, already might have noticed that I'm preparing to cook out here and therefore I have these in the vicinity and all these items over here the clothing and the crafting stuff they all went over here the tools went over here for a reason too I, I had ha I have had a lot of thought in how I put these together there and therefore, here's the chemicals, so if I stand here, I can now do all the chemical crafting. And this is maybe the most complicated part to play around the crappy uh, finding uh, menu here. I wish it would work like uh, it would scan the entire level here and just work with the resources here. But I guess maybe this will be added in a future version, who knows. But this is how I organize my bases. Of course, this is not the, the best way to do this. There is not no such thing like a best way. But this is the way how I personally do it, and I fare quite well with that. And, you know, I really love it to have my weaponry over here, and to have my gun ammo over here, and now we can work decently to set up the actual base. And now it's also quite fun to just uh, roam around the, the area and start looting the households in the vicinity because you now can just go go bonkers and basically loot everything to begin with you won't be you won't be regretting it if you have a base camp where you're living at just go wild it's it's almost never a bad thing to accumulate all the items in your vicinity on one spot if you don't know what to loot just uh, loot whatever goes interesting for you don't go too crazy if you feel overwhelmed by the the amounts of items if while setting up a base. That it's okay if that happens. It happens to me as well. Even while learning this game and knowing what I'm doing here most of the time, I sometimes have to turn it off and slow down because there's just too many things. Like last time when I started learning electronics, I I needed to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> so if the game's overwhelming to you, just uh, just loot uh, loot freezers to begin with, just loot the foodstuffs to begin with, and um, you'll you'll be getting there. When you're getting interested and hungry for more content, you'll be finding new things to to pick apart in these apartments. And before you know what's happening, you're you're disassembling these entire households because there's a scrap and there's this and there's that, and you you'll be getting there. So. Another friendly reminder, basements kill, be smart, peek down basements, don't go down basements blindly, 
friendly reminder, friends. And uh, that's the end of this episode. I hope you found that quite helpful, and feel free to drop me your comments down below. I really enjoy the automated looting part of this game and uh, all that uh, inventory sorting stuff. This is really amazing and eases up the bizarre amount of items in this game. And I hope that was a good thing for you. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I really, really would enjoy your support. And if you hit that notification bell, you won't miss any of my daily videos. See you guys soon and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.